MCC Theatre continues its season with Robert Askin's Hand to God, a raunchy, hilarious, and groundbreaking new comedy. We're here at MTC Rehearsal Studios to find out more from the cast and crew. Tell us a little bit about what this play is all about. Uh, Hand to God is about a Christian puppet ministry in which uh, one of the puppets gets possessed by the devil. Uh, it, but it's also sort of the, a story of a young man who unexpectedly loses his father and doesn't really know what to do with the anger of that. This is about a mother and a son who've lost the father and her husband. They have nowhere to turn. They turn to the church and mayhem ensues. Is playing a devilish hand puppet at all, is it cathartic at all? Do you, do you feel like you get to vex some demons out yourself by playing a role like that? Yeah, you know, it, it strangely enough, it comes natural to me <laughs> to play a demon hand puppet. I don't know why. There's nothing else like this, and it's just so boldly, ambitiously, wrong. But Rob really believes in just sort of like picking the audience out of their seat and sort of yanking them towards the stage and I think in the sense of theatrics that this play has that's absolutely true. No matter how crazy it is there's real heart and they really connect and it's a beautiful story so you laugh your ass off but you're really moved. When you first read the play what did you react to the most? What, what, what excited you most about the work? He's sort of found this childlike voice in a puppet uh, and given him the, the, the most raunchy and audacious things to say. The technical virtuosity of Steve Boyer's performance is fairly miraculous. Not every actor gets a chance to, to really sink their teeth into something this, this rich and that, that brings so many different um, skills to the table. The thing that's going to surprise people most is that Stephen Boyer and Tyrone, his puppet or his alter ego, are two people on stage. I've never seen anything like it. You consistently forget that he's talking to himself for most of the show. Uh, and there's very few people, I think, that can like sort of pull that off. Tyrone, even when we're rehearsing, will take breaks and hit on me. And I'm not kidding. We've heard he's been caught flirting with your female co-stars on break. Oh, yeah. That, that happens a lot. So are you excited to meet any ladies while while doing the while doing the show? <laughs> well, I think I think the ladies are excited to meet me. You know what I mean? I mean, who's excited here? Them or me? I mean, that's the question. <laughs>